Boxing Land. What's going on, Boxing Freaks? I want to talk to you today about Pete, uh, Peter Quillen, Kid Chocolate versus Gabe Rosado. Um, we have a Brooklyn fighter versus a Philly fighter, a uh, Cuban-American fighter versus a Puerto Rican-American fighter. And uh, I think it's going to be a really good fight. I think this is a really good test for, for, uh, for Peter Quillen, uh, Kid Chocolate. Uh, facing Gabe Rosado. Gabe Rosado is a fighter who's going to be about his same size or maybe slightly larger. Um, and Gabe is a guy that has a lot of boxing skills. Um, you know, he, he lost in the Golovkin fight. No shame in that. Golovkin is an, is an animal. Um, and he showed, you know, he has a lot of heart. He has a lot of perseverance. Um, you know, had he not got cut, uh, who knows, maybe the fight would have played out differently. Nonetheless, you know, he lost, but he showed great courage and, and great mental toughness. And those are intangibles in boxing that go a long way. You know, oftentimes we get caught up with, you know, hand speed and punching power and, and defensive movement and all these other technical aspects of the game. But we undermine, you know, the intangibles, the invisible things in boxing, like, you know, the desire to win, you know, the will to win, um, you know, mental toughness, you know, um, you know, a fight being deeply you know uh, hurt and still fighting on and still wanting to win a fight and those are all um you know uh things characteristics that Gabe Rosado possesses on top of great movement and good speed um you know he uses his jab good you know he he pivots he creates angles he's a really solid fighter um and you know people shouldn't look at his record and dismiss him um, he's been robbed a bunch of times, like he was robbed against Jay Leon on the Mayweather Guerrero undercard, which I predicted. Um, but uh, he's a really good fighter, you know, and Kid Chocolate is a good fighter, but he lacks certain technical aspects in his game that I believe Gabe Rosado could exploit. Um, Pete is a is an incredible um, an incredible human being, a really nice guy. Um, he's worked really hard. He deserves what he has. Um, you know, again, he's a good fighter, but he has some flaws. But then again, he has some serious punching power. So that can always change the fight. Prediction for this fight, I don't have one. Um, and I don't have a favorite either. I think this is a 50-50 fight. You know, again, I, I think, you know, you should dismiss the record of Gabe Rosado and watch some of his fights and, and look at the skills that he possesses. You know, I know that um, the odds will favor Kid Chocolate. You know, he'll be the favorite. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if an upset took place that night. Um, Gabe has serious skills. The, the, the other intangible question that we must ask is, is Gabe Rosado's heart and desire still in boxing? You know, after being robbed and, and being jerked around, um, you know, I know that he was being offered, you know, chump change to fight certain fighters. And he was being disrespected. Uh, by certain people in, in the boxing world, um, I don't know that, that his heart was still in. I don't know that, you know, he's going to show up to win or if he's going to just basically show up for a paycheck. Um, I hope that's not the case. I hope there's, there's still a fire burning in his belly to win. I think he's a good fighter. Gabe, if you're watching this video, man, don't give up, man. I mean, I don't know what you've been through or what's going through your mind, but um, it would be a shame, you know, for you to throw in the towel despite what this – corrupt sport of boxing does to fighters you know um so i hope you show up i hope you give us your best effort because i believe that you can win the fight and uh, and i hope we have a great fight again this fight is on the undercard of hopkins versus what's his name who i have no idea who he is uh hopkins opponent uh i believe it's october about mid-october in atlantic city i will try to make it out to that fight if not i'll uh, i'll watch it on uh I'll watch it on TV. I think it's a Showtime fight. Um, so you guys, give me your thoughts. You know, give me your thoughts. Uh, give me your predictions on this fight. Follow me at Twitter at YDKSAB. And follow me at Facebook at Boxing Freaks. Two words. Peace.